Pakistani people have suffered tremendously from terrorist attacks. attacks. Uh, Pakistan has uh, a right to defend itself uh, from terrorism. Wait a minute. Did we hear that right? Is US sympathizing with Pakistan again? Well, that's no surprise really. The relationship between Pakistan and the United States is very important. Pakistan will be continue to be an important partner for the United States for the foreseeable future. The United States and Pakistan have vital strategic interests that converge in the fight against terrorism. Now, U.S. has mostly maintained a positive front about their relations with Pakistan. But within their administrations, the narrative and their tone has been quite different. Pakistan claims to be fighting terrorism, but they refuse to fight some groups who we know to be terrorists. Terrorist organizations with close ties to Pakistan's military elite have been left untouched. This country poses challenges that have plagued the United States for decades. If only you had a dime for every time US picked Pakistan as a friend and then dropped it again. Now US is sympathizing with Pakistan yet again, but why? What's the game plan this time? I'm Shivan Janna, let's get to the point. US recognized Pakistan soon after it was formed in 1947 as the Cold War with the Soviet Union had begun. In 1979, USSR took control over Afghanistan and US needed neighboring Pakistan more than ever. US heavily armed Pakistan after that and offered it big funds to tackle USSR. Once USSR exited Afghanistan in 1989, US had no need for Pakistan anymore. Around this time, Pakistan's AQ Khan was at the helm of Pakistan's nuclear activities with Chinese aid, which US feared. US thereafter issued strict sanctions on Pakistan's nuclear weapons program in 1990s. But in 2001, after the 9-11 terror attacks, US needed Pakistan's bases and airspace and entire territory for its war on terror and once again picked up Pakistan as per its need. In 2018, US suspended military aid to Pakistan again as they were not convinced with Pakistan's efforts to tackle terrorism. Osama bin Laden found hiding in Pakistan is a clear case in point here. But in 2021, when US was handing over Kabul to the Taliban and exiting Afghanistan, it again needed Pakistan's help to mediate between US and the Taliban. But once US was out, Pakistan once again received a cold shoulder from the Biden administration in the US. Now, US is once again calling Pakistan a key regional ally. But why? US needs Pakistan again to monitor Afghanistan as Taliban is out of control and Pakistan's Shehbaz Sharif government is conducive to US aims. Once Shehbaz Sharif's government came to power, US aid to Pakistan resumed. In return, US got access to some Pakistani air bases. Now, understand the link here, because just a few months later, US eliminated Al-Qaeda chief Al-Zawahiri from a drone that was reportedly launched from a Pakistani air base. US needs Pakistan now to counter its biggest competitor, China. Pakistan is China's all-weather ally in South Asia as Beijing is accessing the Indian Ocean through Pakistan's Gwadar route. U.S. recent closeness to Pakistan is also a direct message to India. India has continued to deal with U.S. enemy Russia for its arms and energy imports in spite of U.S. pressure. So in a way, Pakistan is U.S. pawn to set India straight. But India is not budging. So U.S. has been picking up Pakistan and dropping it like a ping pong ball as per its needs for decades now. In the most recent statement by US, they've given Pakistan their blessing to defend themselves against any acts of terrorism caused by or from Taliban-ruled Afghanistan. So by that logic, will India also have a free hand to counter any terrorist activities caused by Pakistan? I want to know what you think. Share your views in the comments.